hook me up. Hey guys, we decided to teach you how to do safety roll or step roll. So if you learn it, you can go to the next level, especially in Ambition Parkour Gym. So you need to learn seven volts. Seven volts, yeah. Seven beginner volts. And, yeah. and, then and after you go to the next level. So we decided to help you. And when you will be in the class with us, so you know what you need to practice with safety roll. Why it's safety? Because you have to use your foot first and after your hand. The place you wrist before your foot, then you're putting lots of impact on your wrist. So what you want to do is you want to place, you want to jump and you want to place your foot on top of the block before your hand is placed. So we'll go foot, then hand, and then scepter. Okay. Do you see how big is the gap between his foot and hand? That's what we want, we want to see. We want to see the window here so the backwards that can go all the way through and push your hips forward so your foot can be able to reach the ground first and you can continue your running because if you run on two feet it's good, it's safe but you will lose your speed after that If you wanted to do precision it would be better to land two feet How to make it easier? Take the block which is shorter where you can bring your foot Why some kids can't do that? Because they're not jumping, they can't jump high enough that's a problem so if you can't jump, it will be really hard to bring your foot. Get the obstacle of height when trying to learn if you're struggling. Make it easier on yourself, find something lower. If you don't have a gym, go out. You can probably find a wall or a block outside that is low enough for you to practice safety well and start running hard work. Start doing with slow motion. Figure out your foot and hand placement. After this, make sure you can reach as far as you can. If the block is really wide, you can sit down to understand that keep driving forward and step out. So, the second thing about why we're placing your hand second. What if the obstacle is wide and you will place your hand first in foot? You don't have enough space now to jump. You can't jump from your hand. But if you place your foot first, you can lean forward and it will be much easier to step over the obstacle. So guys, when you can use two hands to do safety work. When the obstacle is too high or you're on the wall, that's when we're using two hands. So you want to do front support first and after place your foot and do safety ball. So let's see you go try. Front support, step, move. Get over the high obstacles, that will make your life easier. So stay with us and watch our next video. That's stay the word he was looking for, video. Yeah. And we will teach you how to do speed ball. If you'd like you to learn more, we will glad to help you in our ambition gym. I'm a bad man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when did you become Batman? <clears throat> I don't have the power. But I even don't have money. Do you have safety? <laughs> Try again. And this is where we put the Velcro on to make sure that the box is uh, don't fall over and our athletes stay really safe. Well, thank you. Chuck me up! Hey guys! 